What job seems to attract assholes? Management positions in department stores. Give a weak human a minuscule amount of authority and they act like a wannabe dictator and power figure. President of an HOA. A proctologist. You will never meet a person you'll hate more than a club promoter. It's everything left over from the dregs of douchebag guys that think they are the coolest and spend their 40s buying drinks for their 20-something friends. Military. I am a retired AF vet. 26 years and I saw plenty of assholes. Boat salesman. TSA. Reddit mods. Pretty much anything that gives you power over people. Cops, corrections officers, etc. I work in corrections and most of my co-workers are complete assholes. But to be fair, it's a hard job to do if you aren't an asshole. Sales representatives in pharmaceuticals. Fuck you guys. Lawyer here. The solution is an attorney. Morning radio show host. Attorney here. The answer is attorney. Real estate agents. Positions of authority. Anyone who wants to be in control, shouldn't be in control. Spaceball One Bridge Crew. Investment Banking. I'm gonna go with salespeople, the frickin' egos. Wow I've worked in a dealership for 30 years and yep, it's them. Loan Sharking. It's a job that requires you to be in a hole. Anything in politics. Influencers. Whatever that title means. Orthopedic surgeons. Moderators of old internet forums that are somehow still a thing in 2022. The entertainment industry. Law enforcement. PE teachers. A PE teacher. The police. When I was in high school a role model of mine local judge, his retired now, like a father to me made an observation that I've never forgotten. It's not that all cops are bad or that being a cop makes you want to hurt people. It's that it's a job which attracts bullies and megalomaniacs. If you are a bully who enjoys having power over people, being a police officer is a super attractive job. That has stuck with me, and I found it to hold true for several people I've known who became police officers. The DMV. Anal porn. Most jobs that can take you to 500k YR before you are 35. I think the exception here is the medical field. Investment banking. Fang engineers. Corporate lawyers. Nurses, from a nurse. Car sales. Sales in general. Service advisors at car dealerships the middleman between you and the techs. They are all assholes especially if you're a girl. Any sort of authority at all. Cops especially but even the guys who walk around in warehouses to make sure you're wearing safety shoes are some touchy pricks. Whoever is supposed to moderate the moderators on Reddit. Corporate businessmen, executives, and leaders have a 1 in 5 chance of being psychopaths. ITT assholes seem to be pretty evenly distributed across many fields. Man I gotta get ready for the down votes. Okay here goes field grade army officers who want to get promoted. Sorcerer MAJ who wants to retire as a MAJ. So many of my peers want to slit each other's throats to be LTC's battalion commanders. Animal care. A lot of people will say I hate humans. I want nothing to do with them. I'll go work with animals fun fact the overwhelming majority of animal care jobs require working with humans. This might include members of the public, but it will almost always include other keepers caregivers. So now you've got an industry full of people fuming with hatred for everyone around them. It can get pretty toxic for those of us who like or at least tolerate and respect other people. Anything with finance or insurance. Influencers. 
most tenured professors. Cocky fuckers who think since they have a Ph.D. in one area they have a Ph.D. in all areas. They tend to be lazy FCKS too, handing off all their shit to students. Nurses. The amount of high school mean girls that decide to become nurses is pretty crazy. And let me tell you, some of those girls never lost that mentality either. Attorney here. The answer is attorney. DMV employees. Assholes are everywhere. CEOs of billion dollar valued companies, which grew to that stage in less than couple of years. Almost all seem like to do fraud. And also finance companies. And they never face consequences, and walk away with some fortune when shit goes down. FTX, Theranos, Enron, all finance companies during before 2007 crisis. Lawyer. Deloitte Consultants. Real estate agents. Healthcare management. Doesn't matter where I go the management seems hell-bent in making life as difficult and needlessly complicated as humanly possible. I felt with my fair share of shitty ineffective managers but something about healthcare seems to attract the worst of the worst. Construction workers and other hard physical laborers. Some guys take the pride of putting in honest hard work way too far, so you tend to see a lot of big ego alpha male mentality guys. It attracts them because many of these guys literally could not function in any other job setting lol. Politics Gym instructors oh boy. Tow truck drivers. I'm yet to meet one that wasn't a complete douche wagon. Unfortunately, nursing. Nursing biggest bish ever. Salesman in general. Source I learned from experience. The people corporate managers may be? Who do corporate inspections for businesses that happen to know nothing about the business they are inspecting? They are also the most critical of the stupidest things and like to talk down to you. Anything at a car dealership. Corrections. Dildo salesman. Doctor's reception. Haven't seen it yet, but I've got to say cooks. I've been in the industry for more than a couple decades and there are a ton of assholes who work in kitchens. Hell, I was one of those assholes for a long time until I got some sense knocked into me. I first started in the very early 90s when it was very normal to work in abusive environments. Those stories that Anthony Bourdin wrote about in Kitchen Confidential were not exclusive to his book experiences. It's less common now, but the toxicity in many professional kitchens still continues to this day. Real estate agents. Absolute fucking weapons grade cunts all of them. Politics. Attracts the power-hungry self-righteous like flies into shit. The ones that truly want to help their community country don't stand a chance. Like be thrown in a lion's den. Contracting. For some reason all the people that build homes are assholes in the stupidest way. Prison guard. They are not doing it for the pay.